Hello everyone, juxtaposition here. This is part two of the Dorothy Ruth Stratton murder, which is looking a tremendous amount to me to be a ritual killing. And it's possible that Paul Schneider was also murdered, uh, that they could have been murdered together and then it was framed or staged, the crime scene staged to look as if it was a murder-suicide with Paul Schneider getting the blame. But um, based on what I know about black operations, I'm going to say there's at least a 50% chance that Paul Schneider, um, age 29, and Dorothy Stratton, age 20, were murdered together, probably by a team of men. And then it was just staged to look like Paul Schneider did it. And then they just frame him because he's very suitable and easy to frame, you know, sort of like Charlie Manson, except that... Um, you know, it's whatever people believe, right? So, in any case, we know that Dorothy Stratton was killed in a violent, um, ritualistic uh, manner. And uh, I'm not going to get into the particular details of that upstairs apartment, which is in Culver City. So, one thing's for sure, it's definitely not Paul Schneider's zip code. It's the CIA zip code. It's military intelligence zip code. This is where other people have been killed, like Dennis Wilson, the drummer for the Beach Boys, he was killed in this zip code. Dorothy, Strat Dorothy uh, Stratton, before her, we had Sharon Tate. She signed a seven-year contract with uh, MGM Studios two miles from this murder site, and that ended up taking her life in a ritualistic type way. Not that different than the Dorothy uh, Stratton murder. Well, anyway, what I wanted to tell you is she gets murdered on August 14, 1980. She's 20 years old. Peter Bogdanovich is 41 years old. He's having a sexual relationship with her, and he's 20 years older than her. And so, of all the people that are relied upon for the last epitaph of Dorothy Stratton, it is Peter Bogdanovich, her lover, and he selects a passage from an Ernest Hemingway novel, Farewell to Arms where he decides, Peter Bogdanovich decides, he's not her boyfriend. He's a Hollywood director and a pervert. Anyway, he selects this passage, and I'll read it for you, on the tombstone of Dorothy Stratton. It reads, Dorothy Stratton, February 28, 1960, to August 14, 1980. The passage reads, If people bring so much courage to this world, the world has to kill them to break them. So, of course, it kills them. It kills the very good and the very gentle and the very brave, impartially. If you are none of these, you can be sure that it will kill you too. But there will be no special hurry. We love you, DR, which stands for Dorothy Ruth. Ruth was Dorothy Stratton's middle name. I find this epithet to be incongruent, inappropriate, and creepy. And I do find it to be kind of a New World Order human sacrifice messaging, which um, I find very disturbing. I also find Peter Bogdanovich's participation in this memorial service to be totally inappropriate. He doesn't even hardly know this woman. She's, she's a little girl. She's barely, she's, she's not 21 yet. And, um, who is this guy? I mean, he's had affairs with dozens of Hollywood actresses. Last picture show. Let's don't get me started on that whole story. All right. So to stay on the Peter Bogdanovich is a creep theme. Remember that Dorothy has a brother named John who's 18 years old. And she has a younger sister, a baby sister named Louise. She's 12 years old. So they're all at the funeral service, right? And Peter Bogdanovich, age 40, 41, he's there. And he's got eyes for Louise, who's age 12. And, he, and Louise is very similar looking as to Dorothy. They could be twin sisters, except they're eight years apart. Dorothy Stratton stood five foot nine, and Louise Stratton stood stood five foot four so she's not as tall but anyway I don't know what was going on the next few years but I have a feeling that the uh, Peter Bogdanovich was uh, spending a lot of time with young Louise preteen anyway he marries her when she turns 20 years old 
the age that Dorothy Stratton was when he was having a sexual relationship with the older sister, right? When Dorothy Stratton was 20 years old, Peter Bogdanovich is having a sexual relationship with her. And then eight years later, he marries the younger sister, Louise, at age 20. I find that beyond creepy. They have a 12-year marriage, and thank God that ended in divorce. So they got divorced in 2001, you know, the year that Ashley Ellerin was human sacrificed 47 times with a bayonet, you know, over there by the Academy Awards, Will Smith, Chris Rock, hoax, bitch slap, two blocks from there, a blonde, five foot four blonde was murdered. That's right. That's what I said. 47 times with a bayonet. And Dorothy Stratton was killed in a ritualistic type manner. So was Sharon Tate, who signed her contract, like I said, two miles from where Dorothy Stratton was murdered. And Peter Bogdanovich wants to do the whole thing all over again in eight years. So now he's 49 years old, and he's marrying Louise, who's 20 years old. This is this wackadoodle crazy. So, you know, he's... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, he's almost 30 years older. You know, 30 years older. Lord have mercy. Well, anyway, that puts the cherry on top of the Sunday. That's what we're dealing with, people, in Hollywood. Perverts and predators. Perverts and predators. And there's a dossier on every single person that you see in Hollywood. And that probably includes people that are off camera as well. It's everyone within the ecosystem. So it's, it's the... It's the people that work behind the scenes and the people in front of the cameras and the makeup artists because they've all got secrets. It's sort of like doping in sports, right? You can't have a whistleblower. So you just have everybody buys into the formula, everybody gets paid, and then they all deny reality, which is that there's some clean athletes and there's a few dirty ones. When the fact is they're all doing the exact same program because the ecosystem can't function if only some people are corrupt. Everyone has to be corrupted. Every person, 100%. And that includes, you know, the people that you think aren't corrupt. No, no, they're corrupted too. All right. Thanks for listening. Have a great day and um, hit the like and subscribe. Take care.